Welcome to GMA and GPA Adventures after the movie. <laughs> and what movie did we just see? We saw Cruella. We went to the theater and saw it to get the big screen experience. What did you think of the movie? I thought it was good. It was really edgy. Um, I had, by watching one preview, knew, knew that it was not a kids' movie. I love Emma Stone ever since I saw her in La La Land. She was great. Yeah, she's very good. I went in not expecting it to be a normal Disney type movie and it wasn't because it is more edgy. We did both like it. Yeah. There's some humor in it. It's more along the lines of the type of movie that Maleficent was. And I read today that the person who actually wrote the script for it was also was also one of the writers from The Devil Wears Prada. Oh, okay. And I didn't know that until today. And that shows, I would say, because a lot of Cruella is about the fashion industry, mm -hmm. like The Devil Wears Prada was. What did you like about that? The actual fashion, like just seeing the dresses, I guess, was like my favorite part. Because that's sometimes that's why the only reason I, w I watched the Oscars is to see the outfits. And there was some pretty over-the-top fashions. That was really a central idea of the movie, about how she came who she was in the later movie, 101 Dalmatians. And the other actors were really good, too, not just Emma Stone. No. Like, um, what's the girl who played the head of the fashion place? Uh, Emma Thompson. Yeah, she's really good. Emma Thompson yeah. played the Baroness, the bad guy, basically, in this movie the bad person. And then um, the guys that were kind of like um, Emma Stone's henchmen, they were really good. Horace and Jasper. Who was the the really young girl that played the photographer that was like the journalist? I really like her. She's been in like The Good Place and Watchmen, but I have to read her name. Kirby Howell Baptiste. Yeah. She was very good. And another really, now that we're talking about it, the other really strong character was Emma Thompson's, um, I don't know, what would you call it? He was her valet. That was that Mark Strong. Mark Strong, he's been in a lot of movies and he was very good in this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Joel Fry was the one that played Jasper. He's a very good actor. And Paul Walter Hauser played Horace. And he was a lot of the comic relief. All the characters at times had something to do with the comedy of it. And then the one Artie. Artie was the guy who helped her with the fashion towards the end of the movie. Music that went with the movie was very good. It was a lot of different, like if somebody said, well, what type of music was it? What would you say? It was a lot of different types of music. Some of it was songs from the 60s and 70s. There were some from the Bee Gees. Um, well, it was, based in, it was based in London. Based in London. So, some was the Beatles, wasn't it? Uh, there was a song by the Beatles. Uh, Ike and Tina Turner did a couple of songs that were actually written by other people. But uh, it was some good music. A lot of things to like about it. Acting was good. The story kept you interested. Why do you think there might be a part two? You should stay for the mid credit scene for this movie. There's no end credits, nothing at the very end, but halfway through the credits does kind of foretell the future. Could be. Could depending be. on what Disney wants to do. Disney did a great job with this movie. I don't know if it'll be a huge money maker worldwide as what like even Maleficent was. Hopefully it'll be received well. What age do you think should go? Definitely say it's not for young kids. I wouldn't take a four, five, six, seven year old, eight year old. I don't know. Anyone under nine? Maybe not because there's dark elements. What was it rated? PG 13. Okay, so Disney thinks no one under 13 because we know in our small town that even some parents go and dump their kids at the theater. Right. This isn't the Disney movie for that. We go see almost every Disney movie mm -hmm. animated, uh, anything. You know, we. We saw Raya, that was the last Disney one we saw before this. And the Jungle Cruise is coming out next Yeah, I can't month. wait to we'll see that. But there are things in this movie that would probably be scary for younger kids. Well, and just the subject matter, because I guess I thought there was going to be more about the puppies, the Dalmatians in it. It was a deeper storyline than that. I mean, the puppies were there some. They were And there, there was a really cute little dog that was a 
what would you say, Chihuahua? Or something like that. And his name was Wink. He yeah. was really cute. Yeah. They, the, there was another one. It's really her dog. Were well trained, very well trained. Yeah. The dogs were good actors too. And anyway, what would you rate it? Like one to ten. Um, I'd give it a eight and a half. I'd give it a nine. Yeah. I want to buy the movie when it comes out. And I know DVDs can bust and tear up, but I just like to hold it in my hand. <laughs> to own it, possess it. Yeah. And I want the soundtrack too. How you do that? You download it to your phone? Yeah, you could get it off iTunes or wherever. So anyway, thanks for watching. And make sure you comment below if you've seen it and what you thought about it. Um, and then give us a thumbs up. We appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you can even ring the bell so that you'll know every time that we make a new video so you can stay tuned thanks for watching bye, bye.